we are going to be going muzzleloader hunting with our neighbor Tom that we took out turkey hunting earlier this year and you know it's really cold here how, how cold do you think it is? 13. I didn't go out last night when I went out the two nights before. The rut is still going on. I had a little buck chasing it. It'd be a yearling fawn that came into heat uh, the late season. I know there's still some big ones down there. It's just a matter of fact of getting them. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll get back to you later. Well, we just got to our spot here. And you know, it's still a little too dark to shoot. But um, we're hoping um, we'll be able to get something. about 1 30 and we're back out again and we're gonna be walking out a few places and um, you know maybe we'll get something I hope we see some shooters and we'll check back in with you in a little bit cars along the riverbanks all the time. Yeah, you just don't see them like that anymore. That'd be a big deer making that rub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just took you scared the crap out of her. She popped up right next to me and it scared me so bad. Kill one. Yeah, me too. Well, this is our last time sitting for today. We're in our last spot. Ashley and I sat here on the last day of rifle season. And, um, you know, we didn't see anything, but hopefully we'll be able to get something today.
hands on three toes, and behind him came a little spike. And then as I was watching those, um, they started moving across the field. And they knew that there was something over here, so they were really nervous. And then I saw this huge buck just on the edge of the woods. He was with the group. There was another buck there that had half a rack. Went straight up, just on one side, one point, and it was a tall rack. But this other buck must have been a four by four or five by five. The rack was really tall and nice and white. He was a beautiful buck, but he was a wise buck because he watched the other does. And my rifle was on my lap, so I slowly, slowly, slowly tried to start raising it. And I could not get an angle on him without moving my myself on the seat. So I took a chance and kind of slid myself on the seat and that's all it took and the doors went one way and he went the other way back into the woods. And uh, I glassed over there in a half rack, the one with the half rack, he was over there in the trees. But with this muzzle loader, I felt it was a little too long of a shot. Plus he was facing directly at me so it wasn't a very good shot there. But um, it was a wonderful buck that, that ran off. I wish he would have come closer because that would have been a nice trophy there. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed seeing all of the deer and you know we had a really good time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. I will also put the links to our Facebook page and Instagram page in the description. Go give them a follow and again. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.